Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Glenn and this is Artwave27. When I was very young, I drew with a pencil all the time. My mom had uh, some college books that I started going through when I was six or seven. And uh, that's where I got introduced to the idea of drawing with pen and ink. I got started used using like a black ballpoint pen, but you know, when I got a little bit older, like, you know, 10 or 11, I was, uh, able to get my hands on a actual dip ink type pen, you know, the kind of with the nib that you dip in the ink and draw. I worked with one of those for a long time. I uh, particularly like that it's very limited, so you have to be very creative in your approach to how you do it. And it's it's limited in the sense that it's like it's like binary on a on a computer. It's it's either on or it's off. You know, it's either black or it's white. So there's no gray area with 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 pen and ink. It's all just black or white. You know, you touch the pen to the paper and there you got black. You don't touch the ten, pen to the paper and there you got white. And so your textures and everything are made according to how you lay down those blacks and whites. You know, you can do little lines next to each other to give it sort of a grayish look. You can do dots. You can do a, a varied pattern. And if you don't vary the patterns and you don't vary the lines and you don't vary the stuff, all the, and I had this problem when I was first doing it when I was a kid because I didn't understand it really, is you end up with, you know, just sort of everything looking the same. Everything has the same texture. Everything has the same, you know, look. And, you know, in the real world, everything doesn't have the same look, you know. Uh, the bark of a tree is different than the shiny smoothness of a car. So when you're drawing those two things, you don't want to give them both the same treatment as far as how you put the ink down and how you, you know, how you create the shadows and how you uh, create the lights and the darks and, and things like that. So you have to kind of be inventive with how you do that. And like I said, you can use uh, dots, lines, squiggly lines, varied lines of different kinds, fat lines, skinny lines. And so that's where the, you know, that's where I, I really kind of got intrigued by the challenge of the whole thing was just, you know, how to create these different textures and make things look the way they're supposed to. If it's a uh, brick, you can immediately see that it's brick. If it's cement, if it's sand, if it's whatever. So I did that for a long time. Anyway, this picture that I'm drawing, uh, I had drawn this for a friend of mine as a, as a sketch for something that she wanted to put on a wall somewhere. And uh, this wasn't quite what she had in mind. So I had this sketch laying to the side and I was posting things on. I was just experimenting with uh, Reddit, uh, trying to promote my channel and my artwork on, on Reddit. And I was experimenting with it a little bit. And learning how to use it, and I post. I was like looking for something to stick on there, you know. And uh, I uh, saw this sketch laying on my desk, and I'm like, okay, I'll just take a photograph of it. Or actually, I had a photograph already because I had sent it to the to the friend of mine. So I stuck it on there, and it for me. I mean, not you know, not for the real world, but for me, as far as my little world goes, it uh, it went what I would call uh, viral, <laughs> and it got. Uh, I don't laugh because this is probably not you know, not considered viral for anybody else, but for me, in my place, it got 400 um, upvotes, and uh, I was like, "Wow!" And all the other drawings that I put on there uh, had gotten you know they they think that some of them capped out like maybe 50, and that would seem like a lot too. So I was like, "Wow! What is what is up with that?" I mean, that was like a sketch that I didn't even put more than like you know, maybe 15 minutes into into drawing. So I was sitting here this morning trying to figure out what I wanted what I wanted to draw for a video because sometimes I just come to the table and I'm sitting here and I got the paper all here and I've got the cameras all set up and I'm ready to go and I have no idea at all what I want to draw. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I want to draw and I and I thought, you know what, that picture that I put on Reddit the other day was like like blew up. So Maybe I'll just reproduce it, and maybe I'll just uh, draw that because people like the drawing so much. Maybe they would like to see a video of me drawing it. 
it's it's actually kind of funny. Um, when I first started doing these videos, I, I had a real hard time drawing in front of the camera. It just seemed really odd and strange. It still has its moments of that, but I'm getting more used to it as time goes on. But And because now my whole focus is you know, building this uh, YouTube channel and, and getting uh, videos and stuff like that and doing that. I, I just, I don't like drawing anything unless the camera's on drawing because I'm, I'm, like, I'm afraid it's like when I get to the other end, I'm going to be like, ah, crap, that turned out really cool. And now I don't have a video of it. So I didn't have a video of me drawing that, that, that picture. So I thought, well, I'll just sit here and reproduce it. It didn't take me that long to draw it. I'll put a little bit more effort into it this time. Before, it was just supposed to be a sketch. That's all it was going to be. And when you're just doing a sketch to, to show somebody what um, what you're going to draw or what your idea for something is, you don't really put that much effort into it. It's not really going that far. You just want them to get the idea of what you're doing. So I thought, well, okay, if I'm going to draw it again, I might as well you know, sit here and do it a little bit nicer, do it on nicer paper maybe, and use my uh, fountain pen instead of just a... I think I even did that sketch with the ballpoint pen. And it was on a piece of copier paper. So the paper is really, really crappy. <laughs> it has no, it has no uh, life to it at all. It's like, I think I even folded it to put it in my lunchbox. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I actually drew it at work while my, while my uh, CNC machine was running. So I drew it at work. So I just folded it up and put it in my lunchbox. I thought, well, I'll draw something a little bit better. Anyhow, so that's what this is all about. That's what this, that's what this is.